What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Sketch Prime Gaming. You know I couldn't leave y'all without a mobile gameplay this week. So I'm here on Transformers Earth Wars. I'm on a player test build that Space Ape allowed me and a couple other lucky YouTubers a chance to test some of the newer bots that are coming out. I know I haven't done this in a while because we haven't really got a chance to test out some of the latest bots that they come out in the latest one we were able to test with Optimus Prime and Megatron. Um, so today I'm bringing you Straxus. I did not get Slug or Sludge or whatever you want to call him. He sludged to me. Um, I didn't get a chance to get him also. So um, Straxus is cool. I have no attachment to Straxus. I don't really know much about Straxus. Um, I'm not sure if he was in the original G1 uh, TV show. If he was, please leave it in the comment section down below. I have to go back and watch that anyway because I, I'm feeling really rusty on my Transformers knowledge. I think one day I'm just going to take a whole week off from work and just go through the whole sagas of Transformers. Here are the stats. This is how, how high I have him at a level. Yes, he is going to be better after level 30. Yes, his ability is going to probably be better at level 7 or 8. So you can take out max walls like level 14, 13. Anything of those natures. He will be good for wars and raiding teams. Him and Sludge ability is pretty dope. It's called Seismic Charge as you've seen in the ability tree. They can take out walls. Me speed leveling him up a little bit. I, you know, I played around with him. I see, I wanted to see how tanky he was. And here is going to be some, you know, some gameplay after me speed leveling him. He's great. I think he deserves to be on a A or B team. So once you get him of level and of ability point, he's going to be great. They're both going to be great. They're a little bit more tankier than what I um, normally see as bots with melee range. Sludge is probably going to be the only tankiest dino bot that we may get. There's still a chance for Snarl. So Snarl might be a chance to be as tanky. But they can take a little bit more of a hit as you can see right here as... I tried to hit that mortar back there, but it directed directly to the wall. So you cannot hit any weapon, any storage, or HQ at all is going to direct near uh, to a nearby wall. As you see there, I was just taking straight hits from the auto cannon and hot spot, and he's barely dead. So we're going to call out the rest of the squad. We're probably going to call a Bruticus in a minute here. Um, me personally, I think he would do best with a first, not well for us on the bot side, I think he would do well with a first aid and a Rodimus. Rodimus with the, the touch, you know, the overshield, and plus with, uh, if he's released with a first aid, hopefully he gets one of the deploy sh shielding shells. Uh, I think that would be perfect for him as far as if he goes in because he's they're both melee range uh, characters. I wish he was more of a gunner, but I know Dinobots are more get in your face and I'm going to wreck your face type characters. So they will be he will be best. And the first with y'all on uh, on the con side on the player test build, I have a con. Con account, I did have an Autobot one, but I switched over to cons. Um, on the con side, he would be best with Nemesis Prime and Reflector. So, I kind of wish that we were able to player test these dudes last week, but we, we weren't able to, so we, we, or when they were announced, but we finally got a chance to do now. I mean, it's better for us to play test them in the beginning with these first looks type videos because it gives the end, we give more of an in depth talk or what he, what he would be good to be paired up with than the live stream would. Um, he's going to be great. He's definitely going to be great. Um, you better be able to get him this week in the uh, week, uh, weekly uh, well weekend event 
It's gonna be a lion base, lion's base, that'll be HQ level four, it's gonna be called Double Cross. It's somewhat level like leaderboard, but different. It's kind of like the 60 out of 60 prestigious for the crystals. Kind of like that, but a little bit different. So it's not like one of those, I got to be in the top 80 alliance, uh, you know, spot type of leaderboard. It's going to be a little bit more lax, which is cool. And um, I still have the video coming. Um, I just, this week, I have not been myself. I don't feel good for some reason this week. And uh, I think it's because due to exhaustion, I work. I wake up at three o'clock in the morning to get ready for work, and um, I'm tired after I get off. I'm really, really tired after I get off. I barely make it through my stream, so I push through them uh, with the help of my uh, my brothers uh, Kyle my and Pluto, which are my mods in my Twitch chat, and. Uh, Shout out to Luna Fairy for when he came past that one day I did stream. Shout out to you, bro. Um, I'm pretty sure he's going to have a video up on Straxes and when he gets the time. I know he's been wiped out with work as well. But, yeah, I did, I did put up a Marvel Heroes Omega video up. Uh, video up. Well, it was actually my whole live stream from Twitch. I'm actually going to be playing that again tomorrow. I may live stream today if I do, if I decide to ever do take a nap. I haven't took a nap yet. I got off work earlier this morning. I waited up for the dev stream, which I really didn't watch. Um, to be honest with you guys, I did watch some of it. I got the bits, uh, bits and pieces that I needed. Um, kind of think that the live stream should be cut down to a half hour, but that's just my opinion. And I will talk more about that in the video of you know things I think will benefit this game a lot better. And uh, what could increase the longevity of this game as well. You know, it's just my opinions and some of the opinions that have been thrown around for a while now. And, uh, yeah, man, Strax is pretty dope. I like him. I can't wait to get Sludge on my main account. Uh, I'm a Dinobot fan. That's one of my main factions besides the Wreckers that I love. So, I can't wait to add him to my, my team. I can't wait to get Paddles in the game. I can't wait to get Snarl in the game. To have a whole Dinobot lineup will be amazing. So, with that being said, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. And I will catch you guys in the next one. But on a side note, that video will come. It may come next week. Thanks for showing me the love on a new bot video. I appreciate you all. Appreciate Space 8. Oh, God, I can't talk. For giving me an opportunity to try out Draxes. Uh, Stra I was about to call them Draxes because I'm thinking of Guardians of a Galaxy. Well, Straxes. And um, stay tuned for other YouTube videos and live streams that I do on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Sketch Prime Gaming. I'm a little, uh, my voice is a little shot and I'm a little tired. I'm already tired, but I'm even more tired because I got hyped because I was watching the Destiny 2 reveal stream. Which I can't wait for that game to come out. I just pre-ordered it today. Can't wait to play the beta for you guys. And uh, yeah, man, I'll check you guys out later. Peace.